Hey everybody, it's me, Vic. So uh, I started making videos again. I'm feeling much better. Today is my last day of antibiotics. So yeah, I haven't been making videos for about two weeks because I've been feeling under the weather. I celebrated my birthday in bed. So, you know, life happens and sometimes we get sick and uh, that's that. Anyways, I'm glad to be back making videos for you all. So someone reached out to me and asked me, how to make things a little bit simpler with OBS when it comes to switching between recording or streaming for YouTube or live streaming on Twitch or streaming and recording. So there were <laughs> kind of a few things that I, I need to break down and there's two separate videos. So this is part one. This is the ease of switching between profiles. Um, and uh, I'm gonna be talking about that on the stream deck. And then I can't really demonstrate it by pushing the button. And the reason being is because if I do that, it's going to end this recording and I don't want y'all to miss out on creating the actions and then using it for your advantage. So we're going to start with creating those actions. It is an OBS studio source. And if you're like me, where you like to toggle buttons and I will show you between them, I toggle between Twitch and OBS. Um, you can do that with a multi-action, a multi-action switch specifically. So I'm going to create a second one because I actually have one for YouTube ultra wide and one for Twitch ultra wide, which I'm going to demonstrate in this video here. Um, so what I'm going to do is pull up OBS for you all to see what I'm talking about. Profiles are very different from scene collections. Profiles are going to be what you set up when you first configure OBS for your liking, whether you're streaming or recording. So in my case, I actually use OBS for both, but not at the same time. And I realized trying that was taxing my GPU. I have one GPU, it's a 3080 Ti, but I cannot stream and record at the same time as I had so many skipped and dropped frames. It just was not ideal for me. And I don't recommend that for a single PC usage. Um, if you have a dual PC, then you should be fine. But if you're like me where you have a single PC setup, it's not going to be ideal to stream and record at the same time. And I'm just kind of throwing that out there. I'll talk more about it in another video. But for now, let's go ahead and focus on what we're talking about here, which is profile switching. So yes, I have one for Kick. I have Twitch. I have Twitch Ultra Wide, YouTube, and YouTube Ultra Wide. So I have a Samsung Odyssey G9 CRG. And uh, thank you for that, Krabs. I appreciate it. But anyways, we're going to talk about ultra wide in a minute, right? Like I, I've been testing out so many things while I've been kind of down for the count, including a lot of gaming on Diablo 4. But um, with Kick being the new platform that's been rolling out, I have been intermittently streaming there between Twitch and uh, YouTube. Actually, I was live streaming on YouTube for about 30 minutes last night with Final Fantasy VI. Um, I can say with YouTube, they have such room for growth but they also have the best encoders you can use which you are limited on your encoders kick you are limited on your encoders kick is basically like a copy and paste twitch but better and, and i know that sounds weird but there, there's actually better discoverability um and we're going to talk about that probably in another video as well because i am still compiling a lot of things together but what I am going to talk about is these profile switchings, right? So for those who have an Elgato Stream Deck or a Stream Deck Plus or a Stream Deck Mini or a um, Stream Deck XL like myself here, uh, you can use your Stream Deck to toggle between these profiles with a baked-in plugin from Elgato. And we're going to get started on that here. So as you can see, I have already created one for myself. And again, this is a multi-action switch that I'm going to create for my ultra-wide versions of uh, streaming. And uh, ultra-wide gaming, it's not 100% there yet. But when you have an ultra-wide monitor, it's really hard to go back to a regular streaming um, on uh, like a 1080p or 4K platform. Um, and, and I mean that in like one screen as opposed to a very wide screen. And it, it's more immersive, at least in my opinion. Anyways, we're going to go to YouTube. This is actually going to be a profile. So one profile here, I am going to go ahead and select Twitch Ultra Wide. And then my second profile is going to be my YouTube Ultra Wide. 
So if I wanted to, and I can't do this because if I do it, it'll end the recording and it'll actually do the profile switching on the video that I'm recording for you right now. But when you push that button, it toggles between those two profiles that you just literally created the multi switch, the multi switch for. Now, this one is for my regular 1080p's, whether I'm recording or streaming, which is what is standard. Um, there's no way to do a multi action switch for three. I would love a cycle feature here on my stream deck like they do with the dials. I would love that for the actual stream deck buttons, but that's not a thing right now. So if I wanted to switch to my kick streaming, I would just basically drag the profile button and I would create it here. If I wanted to do it for just YouTube, I could do that for just YouTube. If I wanted to do it for Twitch, I could just do that for Twitch. So you see how easy it is to just create a button that you can tap on. But if you only have two, honestly, the multi-action switch is the route to go. And you would just, same thing, go to profile on one and you would select your Twitch and then profile on the other. And in my case, I'm gonna select YouTube. It's that simple to create profile switching for your stream deck. Of course, labeling these things definitely helps. That's why I use the little stream deck icons. This pack is um, from Nerd or Die. I haven't found a lot of stream deck packs that I like because I'm very particular. I like them to be minimalistic. So I like them very simple and elegant. But everybody's different. Everybody has their own preference. Anyways, um, thank you for watching. I hope this video has been informative on how to switch your OBS profiles, whether you're streaming for Kick, YouTube, Twitch, whatever other platform. It's always going to be an OBS source profile, and then you would just select whatever it was you configured. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody.